in my last video where I mentioned the giveaway. I forgot to tell you, the drawing will be January 13th. So you have until the 13th to answer the question, view the video, like the video, subscribe to my channel to be included. All the standard rules apply. You must be 18. Um, if you're not 18, then you need the permission of your parents. Um, and don't say giveaway. Good luck. Bye. Hi, Floss Tube. This is Minnie at All Access. And I am going to attempt to do a whip parade. There is, some of them are out of order and there's one missing. It's in my car. You've seen it a thousand times. So, maybe I'll, I'll stick in a picture instead of uh, in its place. Because I have a, uh, I did take a picture of it. And I'll stick it in uh, in its place. So I've tried to put them all in order and then I have forgotten some and had to add to them so they are, they're, they're not all in order. But I'm going to start and hopefully try to put them in this bin. Okay, so let's get started. And yes, there will be crinkling. The first one is a, uh, let's see. A Stitch for Sweet Freedom. This is by Lindy Stitches. Stephanie Webb. Okay. These are all whips. So they're in my whip bin. And they're wrinkled. But this is as far as I've gotten on this one. I may even do a whether uh, Michelle Rudy does a, another Stitch 9 for next year, I don't know. But I may do one myself. And just pick out uh, some of the designs that I think it, that I can finish quickly. And this may be one of them. And then I'll just work on Stitch 9 uh, for the year. That'll be one of my uh, sales. And I'll stitch by myself. A stitch alone. It's Gary on the Sunshine Stitcher says uh, this will be one of mine. Okay. I don't. Oh yes, I do. As we said, I don't have a pen, but I have a whole bunch of them right here. Um. I think I'll mark it. So I'll know. Okay. The second one is my advent calendar from um, Brooks Books. I've only gotten to the to number eleven. This is a napkin or dish towel that I had gotten from Walmart. And for some reason, I thought it would be, at the time, I thought it was a good idea to stitch these on this towel. The, I think the, the, the stitch count may be close to 40 count. But this is as far as I've got. I know I need to work on this too. And go on and get this finished up. I think this was one of my oldest, oldest whips. But I'll get, let's see, when did I start this one? I started it in 2014. So, yeah, this may be one of my oldest whips. The next one is all, 
all are equal in death. This is from it's from an Etsy chart. Let's see. This is uh, dark crosses. Let's see who does dark crosses. Um, it's a gentleman. I'm trying to think. What's his name? Um. Jacob de, de Graff. Jacob de Graff. Uh, he was featured, I think, one time on uh, Vina and Gary's on uh, uh, Fiber Talk. But this is all equal in depth. Okay. And mine is done on a dark purple with. Uh, my floss is Colonial Copper. And this is as far as I've gotten. It looks blue, but that's an actual purple. I don't know why it's looking blue. Oh, there it goes. Okay. But it's a purple. A dark purple. For some reason, it's showing up blue. Let's see. How old is this one? This one is from... Oh, I don't have a date down here. I don't have a date. I didn't put in a date. Let's see. Actually, from this year. July of 2019. So this isn't that old. But this may be one of my... Maybe that will be one of my... Uh, Stitch 9. Modern Folk Embroidery. That's it. Okay. The third one, third and fourth, I should say. Well, the next one. The next whip is actually Bella Butterfly. There's some beads that go on here. There's a few more beads, and then she'll be done. This is actually a Nora Corbett. This is my, I think this is, no, this is about probably the second one I did. I did one uh, beforehand. It was uh, one of her freebies from the uh, her, her retreats. I think it was uh, Mermaid. No, Hula. A Hula Girl. Now, this is a whip. And because they're both in the same... They're both on the same chart. Bella B. I put them both in the same bag here. And I actually haven't started it yet. I'm going to stitch it on Daphne. Daphne. The undersea fabric. So they're both on the same, in the same bag and everything. You saw my Christmas dreams. This is on uh, Charles Craft Stardust uh, Silver, Silver Dust, 14 count Ada. All he need is beads. I was talking about, uh, you just saw this one on my last video, regular video. And that's uh, Christmas Dreams. It's a design by Joan Elliott. But it's only available through Charles Craft. And you have to go online and order it. Uh, Okay, the next one is, I get this off Etsy, 
and it's a uh, close to a full it was well, it is a full coverage and you know me and full coverages do not get along so it's going to take a while oh as I was saying uh, the Santa Christmas dreams it only needs some beads so that's why it's still in my uh, whip bin because it hasn't I haven't finished the beads on it yet and this one is dead girl I got this off Etsy this is by Love My Stitch is the name of the Etsy store, Love My Stitch. And that's the designer. And this is as far as I've gotten. So I definitely will work on it some more next year. Don't know how much I'm going to get done. Like I say, me and full coverage pieces. It's like you stitch forever. And they're never done. I don't know why I stopped working on this one. But this is uh, from Glendon. Linen plates. It's called Frankie the Thinker. And I'm stitching it on uh, Picture This Plus Haunted. Let's see. Uh, Frankie the Thinker. I started it in 2016. I did stitch on it recently. Well, sometime this year. And this is as far as I've gotten. I will stitch on some more on this in 2020. I don't know how much I'll get doing. But for some reason, I just... I don't know. This is one that I started and just never went back to. I don't know if it's the fabric. But this is Hazel's Wardrobe. And it's uh, started... 1029.16. This is a Sue Hillis. This is my working copy. And I'm stitching it on 14 count Ada beige. And I've got Zippo done on that. So I'm going to have to start working on that one. It needs a lot of love and attention. So, that one needs a lot of love and attention. The next one is my Hogwarts crest from Colleen. Uh, Colleen Carrington. I got this chart from Etsy also. It's on a white 18 count Ada. And one of these days I'll finish it. That's as far as I've got. Okay. This one is in my basket because I haven't. Well, I did part of them. And I've got a few more of these to do. This is uh, JBW Designs Towards the Night Ornaments. And I've got some done. Made up already. But I'll get back to that chart sometime next year. 
This is a Bisco and You from Joan Elliott. Uh, this was uh, given away at her one of her retreats in, I think, in uh, New Jersey. And my friend got me a copy of it. And this is a Bisco and You. This is Fairy, Fairy Delights. It needs beads and it needs to be assembled. It's the back. Yeah, once I put the beads on it, then I can assemble it. And that'll be finished. This will be... I think I'm going to put down... I'm going to do a, just a beading extravaganza. Because that needs beads. Christmas Dream needs beads. And this one needs beads. So far. So maybe maybe my stitch nine will consist of a bunch of beading. It'll be beading nine. It won't be a stitch nine. Okay. The next one is a chart that my niece had a picture of me. She had charted up. So it's just me. And this is as far as I've got. It's I'm gonna show you the front of the this is the chart that she the picture that she had converted to a uh, design a needlepoint. I mean a cross stitch chart. It's on 14 count Ada. And it's like one of those full coverage, so. But that's as far as I've gotten. Which is a quarter of my face, which is. Which is fine. I will get back to that one. It's a 14 count either, so it's not as bad as. Uh, you know, full coverage on, on those tiny counts. This is my 2019. Uh, lemons and thread uh, peacock garden this is what it's supposed to look like I stopped working on it because I had a limited number of colors that I was using and some of the sections on here like the one with the grapes and I don't know if I want to add different colors or not, or how I want to do that. So maybe I just use the blue, the dark blue. But this is as far as I've gotten so far. I've got those three sections. So this could be another one of my uh, stitch, stitch till I'm finished pieces. So I think I'll, I think I'll mark that one down as a, as number five. This one is my knees jacket. She also bought me, purchased this for me. It's a version of the Martin Luther King Memorial that's in DC. And she bought this pattern for me. And I started it on 18 count Ada. That was in, I think this was a kit. Yeah, it was a kit. And it was, this is as far as I had. This is a uh, kind of tiny, it's 18 count. And it's a full coverage, pretty much. So, full coverage is kind of slow. But I like this one. I'm going to, I've got to. I need to do some more work on that one. Now, I close my door. I'm on the floor. I'm sitting on my floor in my craft room. And I put Smokey out. So I could do this because he wants, since I'm on the floor, he wants to crawl all over me. and So I put him out. And I heard him bumping against the door, and I heard something fall. 
out there in my living room. And I'm almost afraid to go to the door. But he'll just have to wait until I'm finished. This is Natural Beauty 3 from Philanthrop Broderies. There's not a whole lot I think left to do on her. There are, I think there's a few beads. But she's pretty much So this may be uh, another finish, you know, working to your finish. Let's see, let me mark that one off. Number six, okay. This one is I don't know why I'm, I'm, I'm dragging this on, on and on and on. This was a, let's see, how old is this? Um, well, actually, I started this one, this particular one, um, actually, last, Fe well, February of 2018. So it'll be almost two years, going on two years. This is the final piece of the Wednesday We Stitch Black Stitch Along from Primitive Hair. And why I'm just holding on to this, I don't know. I stopped because the black had just, I think the black had dro drove me crazy. So there's, um, I need to finish this witch over here. And then there's another one on this side because she's holding the uh, thread on this side. And then it'll be done. So this is another one that's going to get worked on until you finish. Maybe that's what I'll do to do Stitch Mania. As I'll combine Stitch Mania with like Stitch 9. So instead of working, starting new things in on Stitch Mania, I'll work on those. Okay. It's number 7. And then we've got, this is a Teresa Kugit. Kugit? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. And this is called Pray. And I am stitching it on. Thirty-two count. Weeks Dye Works Angel Hair. And it's 32 count. I'm doing it 2 over 2. And it's full coverage. It's a small one, but it's full coverage. And this is as far as I've gotten. You know me in full coverage. I don't know why I do these, but I mean they're beautiful. I pick them out because they're designs that I really like. And I keep telling myself, oh you can do it, you can do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. The next one is, repeat the sounding joy. This is a Kathy Barrick. I love that black swan. When I saw it, it was like, oh, yes, I have to have this one. And this one I started actually April of this year. So it's not very old, but this is as far as I've gotten. I love it. I love this. Um, 
Let me see what the fabric am I working on? Oh. Oh, the fabric is gorgeous. The fabric is from uh Seraphim. Hand dyed fabrics by Laura. Lori. And it's called I can't remember. Here you go. I, I I can't read that. I can't make it out. She print she she wrote it on a on the ticket with uh, a silver like silver paint pen, and I can't see what it is. But I love that fabric. It is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Let me see. I put something behind it, but it is gorgeous. So it's it's almost like the one in the picture. You see the picture, and for some reason this is showing up blue. I don't know why. It's not blue. But there it is. Okay, so. This is on, uh, like I said, this is on a, this is on 36 count, Seraphim. And I'm doing it one thread over two. So it's not really that hard to stitch that way on 36 count. And I enjoyed stitching on it while I was and so I'm just going to have to go back to that one too. I don't know if I'll finish that one next year or not, but it will get worked on. The next one is my Rose Garden, uh, Rose Goddess. And this is from Joan Elliott. It's on a white um, 28 count even weave white, just MCG textiles. And I think it is gorgeous. She needs beads. Oh, she needs beads. And she'll build a, a, a done deal. So, of course, this will be on my stitch until you finish it. That's number eight. Uh, the next one is Tombstone Angel. This is from Kathy Barrick. Well, Carriage House, House Sample. And that's what it's supposed to look like. It's being stitched on Charles Craft. Iris Linen, a 28 count, and this is as far as I've gotten. This should be an easy finish. A few more. Let's see. Two, three, four, five. About five more. Okay. Oh, so tombstone will be number nine. This one, I don't know. The moon just. I just 
Oh, no. This is by the Nibby Needle. It's Witching Time of Night. Another one of those stitch until you finish. Because I don't think I have a lot left. Or do I? Yes, I do. I don't know. This is stitched on a piece of... It's... it's Let's see, this is a piece of MCG 100% linen, 32 count, silver. And it looks almost like a linen that you would wear. I don't know. But this is what I bought, and this is what I'm working on, and this is as much as I've got done. So, um, maybe this won't be a finish. I haven't done too much on there. Other than... The bottom of her dress and starting for broom and part of the moon. I don't know why I didn't have it. I don't know, I just didn't like stitching on that for some reason. But maybe I'll get back to it. And that, I'm not going to put that down as one of my finished work till you finish. So, the next one is Yin and Yang from Stitch Rovia. This is being stitched on 22 count hard dangle fabric. It's white. And I finished, well, I'm almost finished on one side. Ooh, almost bumped it out. This is where I'm at. I've got this one little section here to fill in. These, well, these, that little section on this corner, on this side to fill in and then I can start on the other side which is a sunrise and I love it like I said it's on 22 count white hard anger one over two this is a chart that I picked up at Accents in New Orleans And it's called Iron Gate. I hope that's focusing. Yeah. Get my face out the way. Okay. Yeah. Iron Gate. It's by um, CW Designs. And it's on a piece of 28 count, 14 count Ada. Someone's car alarm is going off. And that's it. There's always something. Not my car alarm. Where my car is sitting it, you wouldn't hear it. It's all the way on the side of the building. Okay. Um the one chart that I'm that's in my car is called the three kimonos. It's a Joan Elliott design. And I'll put a picture in here. embroidery and it is uh, like I said it's a free chart I don't know if it's still free or not but she has uh, they have started to actually kit it up and sell it as kits so I'm not sure if you can still get the free chart online or you may be able to get the free chart and you buy the kit with the fabric and uh, the, uh, the floss that she designed with to go with this. I am using DMC 
and I used I changed the fabric to uh, under the sea fabrics hurricane and this is where I am so far I don't know, can you see it? Okay. That is my hurricane. I love stitching on this. Um I stopped because the green, it was so much green in the in the the, the castle in, in Emerald City. Well, that's the name of the chart, actually, is Emerald City. And like I say, it's Al Force Embroidery. It's a free one on their website. But I think now, like I say, you can order the fabric and the threads. But mine was a stitch, was came part of the stitch along. One thing I have to reach. reach. Okay. This is my last whip and this is as far this is the African angel and this is as far as I've gotten only thing on you're missing on this side here we go all right I won't take it all apart because I was working on it but it's the the leopard this is the top the bottom part of the baby lion Lion cup, and like I say, I was current. This is what I was working on last night, and I'll work on it some more today. And those are my whips. Next time I come back. I think I will show you all of my finishes that I still have here with me. Uh, my 2019 finishes. Um, I have to pull them all out and get them all in, you know, order chronological order. So I don't know if I'll record that today or not, but it'll be that'll be another future video. Until then, I'm going to make some wonderful little X's, and I'll see you again next time.